Hi everyone, I wanted to go over the lesson. Uh, lesson 6.4, which is a standard draw. So let's open it up and let's see what we have over here. Um, well, I guess uh, it would be ideal that you have it done by uh, next time we meet. Obviously I'm not in class. So uh, that's ideal. So we're going to create a new program called Basic Shapes, Your Initials, um, in the project that we have, which I already started it, as you can see. So um, we're going to start. We're going to start from scratch because I don't think we have anything except the the, the triangle. I don't think we have done anything before that. So uh, the first thing I want you to do is uh, make sure you have your documentation in here, right? Um, you know what the documentation entails. Documentation. And um, so when it comes to the, the actual uh, description of the assignment, um, uh, when it comes down to the description of the assignment, probably the best is to copy and paste the assignment itself. Like it is right here, right? And this is gonna be a very simple assignment. It's not gonna be complicated. And uh, we're going to actually go to the link over here where I have lots of information uh, summarized from the actual source, which is the university link. Uh, so if you scroll down, you can see the questions are there. And here is the information you want. Here is where we can actually get uh, the syntax for the circle. We have a fill circle, square, fill square, and so on. There's a whole bunch of little things over there. So the first one was, um, where's the center of the circle you drew? So let's do that first. <clears throat> and the length. So actually I put this, this is one and uh, two, why did I put three over there? Uh, oh, that's the square. Yeah. Okay. So we want to start with, um, yeah, what happened to the circle? What did I do? Oh, yeah, yeah. I know why. So I, I started with the circle, right? Let me just change this a little bit. Give me one second here to make things consistent. Um, so uh, first I started with the circle and what I did is I started with just the circle over here, there. This is the line you want. Remember, what is the, um, the default values for the canvas, the scale? So on the X and the Y axis, the X goes from zero to one. Um, for the Y axis, it goes from zero to one also. So I am, you can put, you can choose any numbers you want. I'm going to center the circle and that's why I use these numbers. You're welcome to use these numbers because this is part of the lesson. Uh, so what are these numbers? Well, if we go to the actual, what is called the ABI, which is the documentation for the ABI, is that a circle has, um, first you need the X and Y coordinates for the center, and then you need a value for the radius. Pay attention to the fact that the data types are all double. And they have to be double because remember, the, the canvas itself, it only goes from zero to one on both axes. So you cannot use integers, they will fall off the canvas. So here my circle has, um, uh, it's right in the center, very close to the center. And then here is the radius, that's what this says. Let me comment out the stuff that I put um, above it. I think it's here. Yes, comment. And let me also comment out uh, this part over here that we're going to do it later. I mean, that's not part of the lesson, but I think a lot of you would like to know how to do that. There you go. So um, let's see what we get over here. Uh, and also, all of this actually 
it's not part of the lesson either. I just, those are additional things that I put there as after the actual um, basic stuff <clears throat> was actually written in your program. So you probably wrote this line. You have the usual, which is public static boy main. Um, uh, public static boy main. And then uh, this, you know, in parentheses, you have the string, make sure this uppercase S the square brackets and then the next line it will just be a standard draw circle just like it is on the first line over here compile it no errors no mistakes and so now let's actually execute this so find the, the actual project and i have basic where's my basic uh, i think i put it on there there so i'm gonna go to the right and click on that and it should be able to draw a basic circle Ta -da! there you go kind of very dull and simple um, so to be able to continue you want to close that here although the compilation will actually do that for you we can also draw a failed circle so we can remove this two over here compile it And let's run it again. And guess what color is going to be? What color is going to be? It's black. Ooh, ugly. So let's change the color. So to change the color, you need to use the step that, that we used once before when we did the triangle. It's a standard draw. Pay attention that you always have to use the standard draw in front of it. When we talk about object-oriented design in the second semester, you will understand why we use this. Uh, the way to change the color is to set the pen color to a specific color. For that, um, the standard draw has already built in the basic colors, but you still have to call it from the class that it's coming from, which is the standard draw that, and everything is in an uppercase. So we can compile it, and when I compile it, the canvas when I went, right? Uh, this is an old version of um, Blue Chase. So the new version might ask you to first close the canvas. Take a look at that. You can close it just by clicking out of there. And some of you have over here that little like a um, turn around um, arrow, then you would do that. Click on that. Um, so that we can compile it and we can actually run it. And that should be a yellow. Oh, uh, there we go, a yellow one. But I would like to have a border to this. And I want it to be a different color. Here is, I chose green. You can call, you can choose any colors you want. Remember, uh, it's more than just the basic ones because I know that I use magenta, cyan, somewhere else. So I'm sure that you can find those colors. You can always open the standard draw and that's what I do. There's a lot to learn from this particular file. And we can do a find, and we can say color. Oops, where did that go? Oh, yeah, yeah. I hope I didn't change anything in there. Oh, color, <laughs> what's happening here? Yeah, well, something is up with my, oh, Zoom. <laughs> Zoom slows down everything here. Uh, uh, there you go, it's color. Obviously, as you can see, it has way too many of them, but we can quickly move along the first few because it's just, um, I don't know if it has a table that tells you what colors it's using, but we saw something up there, right? And the one before. All right, there we go. We have blue and magenta. Oh, this is so slow that it's messing me up. Okay, I'm gonna count down all the way. Um, all right, so as we move along, there we go. We have blue, magenta. I don't know if he has a, a description of all the colors that he has. I know that 
I usually go looking for them to see which ones they are. Slow. I don't know. There we go. Come on, guys. Mm, I have a better idea. Maybe I can use pen, color. Yeah, because there will be less number of them, and I can actually put set in here. There we go. Yes, they are very, as you can see, there is only 16 of them. Okay, there we go. The default color is going to be black. Mm. What else? We know that. We know that. It's not giving us a lot of information, but we know where it is. I, it's also a way to make your own colors. And I will show you how to do that later on. I don't know if there's anything else that will be worth watching or looking for. Yeah. Um, so this is when actually you make a color. Anyways, um, here is. So what I'm saying is that this file has a lot of information you can learn from. This is actually a native Java, as opposed to the standard draw is in a layer of abstraction that helps you deal with a lot of um, technical stuff that is sometimes a little bit overwhelming. Mm. All right, so I want to have that like I said before, I would like to have uh, a border. I chose a green. Uh, we can go by this and we should be able to see that border over there. Uh, there it is. You can make it any color you want. Now, thing to know is that in, in programming, when you actually draw things, they actual, they are, they're drawn on the sequence that you actually have the instructions. So if I was going to uh, draw next the square, as I asked you to do in the actual assignment, then it will actually cover the, the actual uh, circle. And that's why I drew my square above it. Above, oh, wait, yes. I, I drew it here before I drew the the circle. And the reason why I did that is so the circle can be drawn on top of the square. So we can see both. What did I use? Well, first I set the pen to col red color. Then I filled the square. And take a look at the values. X and Y is supposed to be the uh, points, the center of the square right here. And R in this case is going to be <clears throat> just the distance from the point to the, to the side, which will be half the length of the size, right? So, um, and then I've, I did the, the, the border with blue. So it's red and blue. Now, first I'm drawing the square and then I'm drawing a circle. So you should have first a square and then a circle. So I'm gonna compile this. And so you should see the two layers. There you go. And again, we have a scale that goes from zero to one. And that's why I use decimals. So here it is. So this is a red square with the border of blue. You can also change the width of the blue of the border. So you can spend a lot of time looking over here. Um, I saw it somewhere here. I know I use it already, not too long ago. Hmm. Yeah, somewhere in there, I'm, I will look for it later. Well, was it in a triangle? I don't know, we saw it not too long ago, remember? Anyway, let's go back over here. And uh, what's next? Next is to for you to do some work. Yay! So here's the what I want you to do. Um, I want you to 
draw an inscribed triangle, inscribed in the circle. Original has said an equilateral inscribed. So I'm gonna put that in parentheses because that requires you to do some equilateral triangle, uh, some real math to get those points. So one thing of uh, advice or warning or whatever you wanna call it is that the inscribed, the inscribed triangle should be inscribed in the circle, not in the square, all right? I mean, obviously it's gonna be inside the square, but it's, it's not that I want a triangle that goes from here to here. I want a triangle that touches, the vertices of the triangle touches the actual circle. Okay. Um, so one more thing before I let you work on that and then you can submit it. And that, like I said, that was a very short lesson right here is that you can also use something that is in the lesson itself, which is the um, text. So if you scroll down a little bit further, you can see how actually you can use text. And one more thing I wanna tell you in a minute. So here's the X and Y coordinates for the, the baseline of the string that you're gonna be writing. So I'm gonna uh, compile it. I use magenta. Mm. Let me get that right, which is not really that bright, but it's colorful. And there it is. You can move this around by changing this, these values over here. Um, so things that students were asking me when I asked for the triangle is, can we make it filled? The only way you can make it a filled triangle is if you use a uh, polygon. A polygon requires you to know something that you probably already learned before. Um, maybe in Python you use lists, but arrays and lists are pretty much the same. So how do, how, how do we use a polygon? Well, a polygon requires two arrays. We don't call them lists in Java, we call them arrays. Uh, again, double, make sure that it's double because that's what a couple of students have problems with because they use int and then uh, we have the array called X, that is all the X coordinates of the uh, points, the vertices of the polygon. And if, if you look at the subscripts, it looks like it's going clockwise. So maintain that same orientation. And then you have the Y corresponding, y coordinate, a corresponding coordinate to the X points. Once you have that, that would be the arguments for the uh, standard draw polygon. All right, but if you don't want it to make it um, fail, you don't have to because that's not what I'm asking. You can just use lines like we did with the first triangle that we drew. Okay, all right. Um, that's pretty much the lesson. Is there anything else that is in here? Yes, there is. That was my lesson. And then the students were supposed to continue working on one, two, and three assignments. There was enough time in class to actually work on a few of them. So I really would like to see some of this work done by the time we meet again. Okay, bye.